The most anticipated fight of our generation is now in shambles. Due to an unexpected medical emergency, Mike Tyson has crossed his name out from this fight. Yep, and you don't have to take my word for it. Netflix has confirmed this news. Now life can throw some unexpected punches, but this one is a huge blow for Jake Paul. Let's just say Jake Paul isn't too happy with Mike pulling out of the fight of the decade. We have a lot of action to unpack with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this drama. Netflix has just dropped a news blitz, postponing the mega fight between the heavyweight legend Mike Tyson and the up-and-coming boxer Jake Paul. This fight is now a no-go because of Tyson's recent ulcer flare. This news may have saddened the fans, but it has also infuriated Jake Paul. Yeah, this did not sit right with Jake at all. Let's take a look at his initial reaction. Obviously, devastating news. I'm heartbroken, speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here, everyone in this camp, and I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event. The whole undercard. This opportunity has been ripped from all of us. Obviously, devastating news. I'm heartbroken, speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here, everyone in this camp. And I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event. The whole undercard, this is opportunity has been ripped from all of us. But I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost. Love that guy. I have so much respect for him. And um, I want Mike to be healthy. And he says he still is going to knock me out. And I bought myself some time. <laughs> so Mike is still talking shit over there uh but mike if you want to do this like you said behind closed doors behind the scenes you've said you want to do this in q4 you just need a little bit of time so i'm ready whenever you are this is too big of an opportunity i think this fight's going to change the world and i turn all my l's into w's that's a motto i live by and the universe makes no mistakes so let's see what's in store but sorry this didn't work out to everyone the fans love you guys jake believes mike has bailed on their super fight and he's got his own reasons to believe. For instance, after a little mishap during the flight, Mike's team confirmed he was doing well. And not only this, but they also confirmed he'll be stepping into the ring with the problem child. Now this sparks many questions. What happened? What really caused the cancellation of this fight? Did Mike get scared? Did he finally realize he's too old to be going up against a fresh boxer with a solid record of nine, one, well, let's hear it from Mike Tyson himself, who has just released a statement following the cancellation of this fight. Unfortunately, due to my ulcer flare-up, I have been advised by my doctor to lighten my training for a few weeks to rest and recover. My body is in better overall shape than it has been since the 1990s, and I will be back to my full training schedule soon. Jake Paul, this may have bought you some time, but in the end, you will still be knocked out and out of boxing for good. I appreciate everyone's patience and can't wait to deliver an unforgettable performance later this year. Well, if you ask me, the story does not add up. If this medical emergency was serious enough to postpone the fight, why would Tyson's team say he's going to be ready to battle on July 20th? Yep, that's right. Just take a look at what his team said. He became dizzy and nauseous. Thankfully, Mr. Tyson is doing great. Doing great? What a joke. And if you thought that was interesting, well, you got another thing coming at you. Now, this is where the whole puzzle falls apart. Look at what Mike tweeted this Tuesday. Now, feeling 100%, even though I don't need to be to beat Jake Paul. Now, it makes you wonder, where did all that 100% go? There's more to know this story than it's letting on. And from what Mike said, it appears to be he just wants more time to train before he goes full eight rounds of madness with Jake Paul. Well, whatever the reason, Jake Paul is not handling this cancellation well. He's going ballistic. And the last thing you want is a guy like Jake Paul gunning for your head. Get this, Jake Paul needs this fight. If you take a look at his last two fights, well, the numbers are not doing great at all. And the critics are screaming from all corners. He fell off. And you can't blame them, can you? Jake Paul fell off so hard that if you ask most fans who his last two opponents were, I can bet they'd have no answer. The fight with Mike Tyson was his ticket to glory. I mean, we've seen the press conference. It was getting heated. It became the talk of the town in a matter of seconds. Both guys were taking shots at each other and spiking drama all over the internet. 
And don't forget the whole thing was going to be streamed on Netflix, making this event the biggest of all time. You just know those guys were going to bring the heat to the ring. Instead, the heat got brought to Tyson during his flight from Miami to LA. Let's take a look at what Jake Paul told Net Loafs shortly after Mike called the fight off. My fans know I don't want to face Iron Mike at anything but his best, but let there be no mistake. When he steps into the ring with me, I will be ready to claim my WBU with a sensational finish. Paul vs. Tyson will be one for the ages, and I promise to bring my best for this once-in-a-lifetime matchup. Well, make no mistake, Jake Paul. I believe the whole world is aware that you're known for fighting people at their worst. Ben Askren had a hip injury when he fought Jake Paul, and don't forget Nate Diaz and Anderson Silva were both way past their prime when they too stepped into the ring with the problem child. I think it's safe to say Paul desperately wanted this fight to happen, especially after the medical emergency. That's the best shot Paul had of winning this fight. So, it makes sense why the guy is so bummed up about losing this fight. But hey, it's Mike Tyson we're talking about. He's one of the best to ever do it. You gotta feel for the guy if this health concern is as serious as it sounds. Mike's pushing 60 now. Yes, twice the age of Jake Paul. Health should be Tyson's top priority. The problem child causes problems in more ways than one. The least Paul can do is show some empathy for the legend. Moreover, most valuable promotions released a statement, giving more insight into what actually went down. During a follow-up consultation on Thursday with medical professionals on his recent ulcer flare-up, the recommendation is for Mike Tyson to do minimal to light training over the next few weeks and then return to full training with no limitations. Well, if this Mike trying to buy more time, it's understandable. Because imagine getting knocked out by Jake Paul. I know that's embarrassing. But now imagine being the greatest of all time and then getting knocked out by Jake Paul. Now that is beyond embarrassing. It's too much of a risk for Mike here. But if there's any truth to Mike being unfit, then you gotta pray for the guy. Let's hear it from Michael Bisping. He had some interesting things to share on this hot topic. There's only one loser and it's you, Bisping taking shots at Jake. You're talking about being world champion. You're talking about looking for the toughest tests, but once again here you are cherry picking these opponents and it didn't pay off. And guess what? It serves you right. But there's only one loser, and that is you, my friend. You're talking about being a world champion. You're talking about looking for the toughest tests, but once again, here you are cherry picking these opponents and it didn't pay off. Well, guess what? It serves you right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Michael Bisping did not hold back a single a bit. And he's got a point though, if you're going to cherry pick guys who are pushing 60, you gotta have a backup at least. Well, there is one man who's offered to step in place of Mike Tyson to go head to head with Jake Paul. And when I tell you who, it's gonna knock your socks right off your feet. I'm talking about the big bro himself, Logan Paul. Yep, you heard that right. Logan Paul saw the opportunity of a lifetime and jumped right at it. I mean, we have these two brothers debate on who's the better boxer. Maybe it's time to finally settle the score. And Logan is down for it. So Mike Tyson's out. I'll step in and we can settle this once and for all. Logan posted this on Platform X. Now that spices things up a bit. I don't know about you guys, but this fight could be one for the ages. And the other Paul brother does not hate the idea. Jake replied to Logan, Mom doesn't want me to KO you, but why not? Loser has to change their last name. Now this is getting realer by the minute. While we can all agree that Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul is much bigger, but the Paul brothers going to head to head with each other has its own buzz. Let's take a look at how the fans are receiving this news. One of them commented this on a post made by Happy Punch. I'd like to see that more than Mike Tyson for sure. I mean, who wouldn't want to see two of the most controversial brothers step into a ring and settle their differences? Logan has always said he's the better out of the two. This is the perfect opportunity for him to walk his talk. A second fan commented, Jake is the better boxer and I don't even like Jake. It makes sense why the majority would have Jake winning this fight. Jake boxes for a living, he's been fighting pros and legends. Whereas Logan, on the other hand, he's a WWE star. And if there's one thing we know about WWE, it's that the whole thing is scripted. A third fan commented, Jake Fine fighting his brother, but he ain't say nothing when Ryan Garcia gave the same proposal. 
Well, if we're being honest, Jake would never take Garcia up on the offer. Ryan is coming off a huge win against Devin Haney, and the last thing Jake wants is to humiliate himself in front of millions of fans watching. Jake would rather fight his brother than lose to Ryan Garcia, but if I were Jake, I wouldn't take Logan lightly at all. Let me remind you that Logan Paul lasted eight rounds with Floyd Mayweather. If Logan can hang in there with the greatest of all time, then I don't see him struggling against Jake. But hey, maybe they'll go with the Mike fight, but at a later date. Either way, it's going to be fireworks. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.